Hello, it's Randy Duck and welcome back to another video. This time I've got two replays for you in the German Tier 10 light, the Riementhal Panzerwagen. Um, and I think I've got a replay of this uh, tank on my channel, or a couple of replays maybe. Um, but it's been a while and I've been playing this tank recently just because there's a German op on, I needed to use German tanks. Um, so I was using this tank because I love it. Um, and yeah, I've got two good replays for you today. The first one here being on Vineyard, we're tuned up here with uh, Petty in the Manticore and Swindle in the TD. And yeah, we're going to see what we can do. This is a tank which I love because it's got lots of mobility, uh, it's got decent camo and a fantastic gun. It's got 320 alpha, really good rate of fire and it does actually have... Um, HEP rounds for the HE, so it's got 120 pen HE rounds with 420 alpha. The only real downside to this light tank, if I'm honest, is the ammo count. You know, you really don't have that many shells, and there's been countless games where I've had, where I've had really good damaging games, and I need to be, you know, thinking, oh, I could have had so much more had I had more ammo, you know, where I've wasted a few shots here and there, and you end up thinking, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have took them chancy shots. Um, but so that's the only real drawback to this tank. Other than that, I find it fantastic. Um, so we've already you know, paid pretty aggressively there and it's paid off nicely because we've got 2,450 assistance right off the start, which is always nice. I pulled back because Petty's there in the Manticore lighting up now anyway. Uh, this is counterproductive to have both of us there. Um, so I'm going to try to pay my attention to sort of the stuff in the middle of the field before I buy my time to work out what to do next. Uh, we've got lit up by the enemy TD. Uh, thank you for 6.0 that we snapped that shot in. Uh, yeah, filthy. We're trying to aim the second one, put another one in, and we do. And thankfully, we managed to punish that light tank for his sort of aggressive play through the middle there. Um, I was going for the finishing shot, but Petty beats me to it. Um, and that's nice. We've got a nice tier 10 uh, light tank out of the game. Um, and now I'm sort of I'm weighing up my options because I kind of want to get around the side of these heavy tanks to see if we can get some shots into them to try and win this side a little bit quicker than we are doing um but i'm yeah i'm a little, just sort of waiting you know trying to buy my time whether to do it and i've decided a bottle i've got the bottle to do it so i'm going to move in try and get some side shots to finish off this machine we get a lovely snapshot and put them onto a one shot and a move um, and now we want to finish them off i don't really want to eat many shots in return especially i don't want to miss my shot uh, but fortunately the machine misses and we then get, uh, you know, we don't fully aim that one, but it does go in and we finish off that tank, which is giving us the freedom now um, to try and get up onto this ridge, sh shelter myself with this bit of cover here between the enemies camping on their spawn um, and try and deal with these E100s and Valor because they're now in an awkward position where they're fighting things front on and you've got an annoying little pest of a light tank shooting them in the side. You know, it's all about those angles, really. Um, if you can put the enemy team in as many angles as far as possible, uh, then they're going to have a real hard time. Um, as you can see, this Valor sort of backing up now. They're both now on one shots, trying to look for that finishing kill. But it looks like Petty's going to kill the E100, so I'm not going to waste time because I want to get the assistance before Petty does. Um, so I'm going to start moving forward to see if we can light the uh, tanks, which we know will be camping in their base. There always is someone camping in their base. Um, so the plan is we're going to try and get forward and see if we can spot them. But on our way forward, we spot the artillery running. Now, we are not going to miss an opportunity to kill this artillery. Uh, so we go for a shot, hoping we can finish the second one off before he gets in cover, and we do. Picking up that kill, putting us up to just over 3,000 assistance and just shy of 3,000 damage. Um, it's now about moving forward to spot up the stuff which are in the base. Here we go, this E4 gets spotted. I don't think that was my spot, but the Waffle E100 is. Uh, we're going to try and get a shot into him. That was poorly aimed. I could see he was reversing. I took that shot too soon. But thankfully, I got all of his assistance, putting me up to just under 5,000 assistants now. Um, this game's looking, you know, it's still 10 7, but we're looking in a good position at the moment. The enemy team haven't managed to push all the way through to our base. You've got Swindle there and the TD preventing that. Um, so it's about clean up now. I kind of want this E4 to full send me. Um, so I could get behind him, but then I see the Death Star and I'm thinking, oh god, now I'm in an awkward situation and sort of uh, sweating a little bit, but I have a lot of cover fire um, and this I-7 moves in, so I'm now going to try and push in. I know uh, that um, S-Bond shot recently, so I'm going to beat its reload. 
Again, I'm going to try and get behind him so he's then fighting the i7 and me getting shots from behind. Um, you know, we know we're going to pen. Thinking about it, I probably should have loaded a hep rounds there. Would have got myself a little bit extra damage. Um, but now this is clean up. You've got this E75. I'm not entirely sure this is the most productive position for an E75. But I'm thankful that he is on full health. I'm also full health, so I can easily take a couple of shots you know, if I need to. I eat one just so I get behind him. And now I know that this tank, yeah, I'm, I'm going to kill this tank now. Even if he puts an extra shot into me, it's not going to be the end of the world. I can afford to eat another shot at this point. Uh, we managed to circle him there, just avoiding his gun line. We're just trying to keep out of his gun. He then gets shut down by Petty, and we managed to pick up, you know, just shy of just over 4,000 damage and 6,000 assistance. So, we had a really nice game. There's one enemy tank remaining, which we can see towards our base. I don't really know if I'm going to get there or not because I think Petty, well, Petty will get there before me, but hopefully I should get there before Swindle just because, like I say, it's got really good mobility, um, this light tank. Um, you can see it's me sort of zooming along, hoping that I'm going to overtake um, Swindle in his Waffle 100 and get there and just to hope to get a little bit of uh, extra damage. But you can see as I'm approaching, the dream's on uh, for the glory landing and we're going to attempt it. Uh, so we're going full sending, but really here I should be slowing down because I'm clearly going to go over his head. But fortunately, you know, this is all planned. We jump over, handbrake turn, get a shot in. Um, and yeah, like I say, fully attended to do that in the end. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for the first replay. Let's get to the results screen and see how we did. Uh, we picked up two kills, 4,600 damage, 6,400 assistance. So 10k combined game, uh, ace tanker. And yeah, that's that's it for the first one there on Vineyard. So I hope you enjoyed that. But we've got one more replay to come. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, here we are for the second replay of the video um, on Pell River. Um, one team destruction. There's only one enemy light in the other team, which is nice. One artillery. Uh, so it's fairly balanced teams. <clears throat> we are solo in this game. Um, but yeah, it's on team destruction, so that's always nice um, because we don't have to worry about our base getting capped out at any point, um, or we don't have to worry about you know us capping them out and getting a quick win before we had an opportunity to to really have a bit of damage, have a bit of fun really, and play tanks. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to push aggressively and to see if I can get a little bit of intel um, on where the enemy team is. Um, you can see a lot of our team has gone to the heavy flank which means I'm not going to have that much support here, but I do have an artillery, so maybe we can get a few, um, you know, a bit of assistance. Uh, this TD stuck in the open. I'm kind of really chancing my camo there. Um, the TD wasn't spotting me, you know, the Russian TD, but the, the British Valor, um, you know, is. Um, so, yeah, I've got, uh, managed to get out of there before I took any damage. Um, and now we're going to try and use this bush in front of us to see if we can keep uh, our camo value um, and try and um, get some, you know, some shots in really. So I'll try and get rid of this TD, which we do manage to. Then we're going to pull back in position. This Valor's kind of <clears throat> a bit of a nuisance for me at the moment because it's in that position um, where he's kind of protected from our team. I I'm guessing our um, artillery could get potentially splash shots into him, maybe. Uh, but again, that's a very difficult shot, so it's perhaps not. Um, but yeah, I would like to try and get rid of him as I can. I, I, at the moment, I'm just kind of playing peekaboo. But this light tanks uh, appear, so I'm trying to get two shot in, shots into him. I missed both of them. The second shot, I probably could have aimed a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, we're just trying to keep this fella spotted. We get a shot in there. Unfortunately, you know, it wasn't fully aimed, but um, so we don't get the, the damage. But we do get that one in. Um, and you can see we picked up a bit of assistance where he's over peeking there. Um, and our mediums behind us are managed to get shots into him. So if I can, I would like to track him when he comes out and hope that we can get rid of this tank. Um, I'm sort of keeping an eye on the area of the map. Um, it looks like, at the moment, it looks... I don't know, it's hard to tell. I suspect the enemy potentially are winning in the heavy flank, but it's hard to know for sure. It looks like they are getting outnumbered. So that is something I'm going to have to bear in mind that maybe I will have to turn around at some point. Because like I say, we're not really making much of an advance um, on this position. So it might be that I have to fall back and spot for our TDs um, and our artillery currently in our base. Um, 
But yeah, I managed to pick up a little bit of assistance, a little bit of damage in the position. And now I'm pretty sure that the enemy are winning over there. Um, I'm not really making any advances this side. So I'm just going to turn back, knowing that if we lose the heavy flank on the other side, as long as I'm in a position to spot, um, they kind of when they come out of there, they're in a really awkward position because our enemy guns are, are facing on them. So unless they can get right under the ridge quickly, um, it should give us an opportunity um, to get a few bit of assistance here. I overpoked there; that was kind of risky there. Hope you know. Fortunately, that E4 wasn't ready for me, so I don't lose any hit points there. Um, and now I'm just going to try and use this bush to try and light up the enemy team. And normally this E4 is too close, so it's going to keep spotting me. Um, so I would like to remove this tank as I can. Uh, but now you can see we are definitely losing the heavy flank. I swapped the heat to deal with these, the, the heavy arm of the mouse. So I'm going to struggle to pen him with APCR. Uh, especially over distance because you're going to lose that penetration value of the APCR. Uh, whereas he, um, although it's got a slower velocity, uh, you're not going to lose any um, penetration over that distance. It's always going to stay constant. Uh, we get a nice blind shot through the lower plate of the head, of the mouse. I want to make sure I keep these lit as you're doing. Uh, and I'm picking up all a lovely bit of assistance here. I'm now going to shoot heat into the tracks. Because it's got tracks a hole along the front of uh, that tank. Um, and that's going to keep me in, track, uh, in place. And I managed to get absolutely slapped by that Death Star. Um, and I picked up over a thousand assistance off of him. And, and that's, that's two tanks taken care of. So that's quite nice. Because we are actually losing at the moment. But the enemy team aren't really making advance on the north. So... <laughs> My real goal at this point is just keep the enemy team lit up and allow my TDs and the artillery to do the work. Because you see that mouse gets absolutely slapped. Now it was kind of important. I mean, maybe the TDs could have spotted for themselves, but it was kind of crucial. I was there just to just to keep them lit up, you know, and actually be a light tank because this is where my rest of my enemy team are now, um, and I need to make sure they've got targets to shoot at so that we can stay in the game. I'm trying to get to a position so that I can potentially kill the or shoot the E4 and not get lit. Um, I'll, I'll get one in there. He's not actually lighting me, which is nice. But I'm getting to this sort of position where, unfortunately, I am starting to run out of ammo. And that's the kind of problem with this tank. I've still got a few at the moment, but it's just getting to that stage where, yeah, it's getting a bit dicey with the ammo at the moment. Um, I want to take out this E4. He does get slapped by our artillery. Our artillery's really done some nice work in this game. Um, that's put us on to 5,000 damage, um, sorry, 5,000 assistance and 2,500 damage. Annoyingly, I get double shot here. I eat two off of the machine, so I've got to move. I was trying to lose my spot. We know the machine's shot two now. Um, we know it's a machine just by the rate of fire he was shooting at, and we know the machine has four in his clip. Um, so we're going to try and light him up, and there is the machine. Uh, we do get the spot. He then gets punished. We go for the kill shot. Uh, unfortunately, we don't manage it. We're only down to like five APCR rounds, those three HEP rounds now. So we are dangerously close and running out of ammo. Um, we want to kill this uh, Polish medium before he gets into a very annoying position. Um, and also he's going to keep us spotted. Um, so we do want to try to take this guy out and try and even scores. We're finally at a point in the game where we have evened it now and put it back to a five versus five. We know there's a Polish heavy here. I just missed the artillery shot. Uh, that was fortunate that he doesn't hit me there because... I would have died. Well, on an average roll, it's got 750 alpha. Um, but fortunately for us, we do. he does miss the shot. Um, I'm trying to get into a position just to go, uh, yeah, well, uh, see if we can just keep him lit, basically. Cause like I say, he's kind of sitting duck there at the moment. Uh, so as long as I can keep him uh, lit up, eventually he will get hit by the artillery. He's not safe in that position from the fun police. Um, so as long as we can just keep him lit up, I know eventually our fun police is going to slap him and that will give us a bit more assistance, if not maybe the Death Star or something can get a shot in. So we're going back to try and get to a position to spot them. Uh, unfortunately he lit me on, on the cross there, um, so I want, well, I'm just trying to go a different position just to hope he thinks that I, I might be going a different way. Uh, now I lost my spot, I'm going to turn back around and just try and use those hedges again to spot them and hopefully I can stay unlit. Um, via the hedges i'm reversing though just in case i do get spotted then i'm going to be able to get out of there quickly and hopefully avoid taking the shot uh, so we do spot him up there and you can see he's now retreating um so because he's running away he's not going to be a major uh, threat at the moment uh, so i was just going to go back and see if i can help out against this s bomb which is moving in but he then gets taken out by our td so i don't need to worry about that guy and now we know that there's one of the heavy tanks here 
uh, and we know the artillery is going to be at the base. We don't quite know where the second tank, the Progetto, actually is yet. Um, but we're going to get to a position where hopefully we can try and get some side shots at this 60 TP. Uh, at least that is the plan. Unfortunately, he does spot us moving in there, but it's not long until we're into hard cover, so he's not going to have a shot into us. Um, so we're just going to try and get to a position where we can either get some side shots into him or just keep him spotted again for our team. I suspect he's moved to a position where he's now safe from the artillery, although he does then just get slapped. I don't know who hit him. Uh, but that's put us into 6,000 damage. And yeah, there we go. He's in a position. He is a one shot to us, but we just can't manage to get a shot in there. It's such a slim shot and we actually get in there. We're not going to bother paying peekaboo with this guy at this point because he will kill me uh, if he average rolls. And he's no threat to the enemy team anymore. He's on a one shot and he's in a position where he's not going to achieve anything. So I'm thinking, you know what, it's time to go piggy chasing and we're going to see if we can get rid of this fun police. <clears throat> And yeah, it's, it, we're finally in a position in the game where it's a lot more comfortable, isn't it? Uh, so we've moved over. This budget has got spotted in the open. Uh, he's getting farmed from our uh, friendly medium. He then pushes out, and now we know we're going to kill him. Uh, between us, he's not going to escape from this now because he's, he's trapped in the open. And we do manage to pick up that kill. I'm just trying to work out where the fun police is, and suddenly <laughs> he was round the corner. Um, so I'm glad we managed to kill that guy quickly before... Um, I got snuck up on by that fun police. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking I just need to keep him lit and then our medium will get a shot into him. Uh, but I almost make a terrible mistake here. I didn't intend to go straight up on that ridge. I just wanted to go up and proxy spot him and then come down again. Uh, but my analog kind of got stuck up and it took me up the top of the ridge. So that was lucky. Um, but fortunately for us, he missed his shot. Um, and we managed to pick up a little bit more assistance, which brings us nicely to the end of the replay. Um, so we'll see how we did. We've got four kills, 3,500 damage, 6,687 assistance. Got the ace tanker, got the scout medal. So yeah, a little bit different um, from the first replay, but I hope you enjoyed that nonetheless. Um, and as always, happy tanking. Oh, get